How's it going? Hey, how's it going? I wish I could finger gun you. But I can't. I can when I'm in the VR thing, but I can't now. Sorry, William, I can't. Do you want to do like a, you know, fist bump instead? I just knock something over in my room. Do you want to do a fist bump? Welcome back. Um, so the first thing I want to start off with is uh, thanking, really, because my subscribers have like shot up lately, and I'm actually really in disbelief about that. It's kind of crazy. Uh, from when I'm recording this, it was at 134, I think, which is just insane. So thank you for that. Uh, but even William's saying thank you. Which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for you guys, because, you know, we all know what he's like, but yeah, he's saying thank you. Um, so for that, I decided to do this video again. Um, I played it once before, but I didn't do commentary on it, so now you've got commentary on it. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna get scared because this game actually generally terrifies me, so... I've, I've never actually played FNAF 1. I did FNAF 2 um, last time, as everyone saw, but I haven't done the others. I'm terrified to do FNAF 3 because, although I love Springtrap, he's my favorite character. Yes, you're my favorite character, Glitchtrap, though in your Springtrap form, as William. Um, even though that's actually my favorite character, uh, the idea of him actually coming to kill me in VR is terrifying, and FNAF 3 is actually my favorite Five Nights at Freddy's game. Um, but yeah, it's just the idea of it being in VR is pretty scary. This is terrifying to me, but let's, let's, let's go. Oh, I'm already regretting this. Ooh, tape. I'm already regretting this. Hello, hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, I wanted to record a message for you to help me get settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of I'm fact. I'm determined so to I know reach it's a bit that, but my setup's not good. But I'm here to tell you that there's nothing to worry about. Uh, you'll be fine. I can't so reach it. Let's just Down. focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Uh, let's see. First of all, Got it! Yes! That I'm supposed to read. Sorry, I mean, it's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Oh, no. A magical bon bon, place please. for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering the damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed mm -hmm. within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets Aww. have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's mm -hmm. really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame Yeah, them? No. I'm aware. If I've I completed the first sing game in those actual... Those same stupid songs for 20 years, and I oh, never got a bad terrifying. I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. Night. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, oh, no. and you need to show them a little respect. Right? Bum -bum. Okay. Bum -bum. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Oh, uh, Chica! No! Kind of free roaming mode at night. Something about their servos locking up, they get turned off for too long. Oh, he's over. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can I'm live aware. without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watcher, is if any, is the fact that these characters, Chica's in the kitchen, uh, I think. if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. Uh huh. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume. Perfect. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside of Freddy Fazbear's suit. He's in the suit. hall. Great. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wired, and animatronic devices, especially uh -huh. around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only part 
outside the door but he's not actually at the door so is it safe to She's gone there. Where is Bonbon gone? Bonbon? He's in the hall. I. Chica? <laughs> okay, Chica's in the hall. Foxy, get back in, you big bitch. Oh. Oh, I actually did that. I'm shocked. <laughs> oh. That is terrifying in VR. No. 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 Oh my god, what is it? Meat bites. Alright, eat him. Nom nom nom. Very scary. Hi! William, you calm me down. I love your presence here. You're like, it feels like that should be something that should never be said. Yeah, hello. Hello. Yeah, we're friends. Hello. Hello. Right, I'm gonna do this again, even though I failed it like a billion times last time. Ready Welcome for back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Oh. Let's return it to the lost and found. Wait, is that... Carefully, grab and remove the child's hat from Freddy's mouth. Uh, sorry, I was too busy getting the, the, the tape from Freddy. Freddy's got a pretty good hold of it. Give it another firm tug. Good job. Now place the hat in the lost and... While we're at it, let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside. I hate to access Freddy's chest Freddy cavity, scares me grab Freddy's bow tie it. and pull it outwards. Freddy's like my enemy. He well done. So Freddy's much. chest cavity is now open. Remove the yeah. child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. Don't kill me, okay? Look. Just be careful. Shit. Wait. Wait. Yeah, I saw that coming. I'm sorry, Freddy. <laughs> Help me, Mr. Cupcake. I am useless against Freddy. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. I'm trying to time this well. I know. <laughs> Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. Mm. Easier said than done. When he's being a big bitch. Good job. 
It Happy appears now. there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's yeah. shoe. Gently grasp the, the music time. box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity before the safety latch descends. Okay. Carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. Great job. Well. To reset the safety latch, press the button located on Freddy. Now yeah. remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Well so done. So good. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Yeah, this is where it goes fucked up. Oh no! You seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This Hi. is not good. A replacement yeah. may be found on the work table. A slow and even pace is recommended. Welcome back to parts and service. You it, are Freddy's yeah, I'm got like, a good final job. Nerve, now place the while we're, well I'm done. I'm not even scared Freddy's of Freddy's chest point. cavity I'm just is now open. Carefully place the music box on the work table to Thought your I left. It up again, then. Great job. To reset the safety latch, press the now remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. And hope that Freddy isn't a big bitch about everything. Yeah, I know. Well done. You're annoying, Return the music Freddy. box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Oh no! You seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This is not good. A replacement may be found on the work table. A slow and even pace is recommended. Crisis oh, averted. I did it. To yes. close Freddy's chest cavity, press the large Finally. black button on the center of Freddy's face. Oh my god! That concludes Yay, your time in parts and service. Your pay will be docked accordingly. Yes, see, we're friends now. Yay! So cute. Go away. Oh, he's gone. William, no! I needed you here to calm me down. Damn it. Ooh. Oh, hi! You're back! I was looking for you. I don't know what you're doing in here, but hi! Yeah? Hello? I know. Jeremy I can complained you. of nightmares when he came in this morning. He wasn't talking about it like someone telling a friend about his dreams, though. He was pale. Looked like he hadn't eaten in days. He spent an hour talking in Dale's office. But it didn't look like he was given much sympathy. When he came out, he went directly back to the testing room. He doesn't even jump anymore. Nothing scares him. He just stands there like he's talking to someone. Sometimes he rocks from side to side. We were told to leave him alone. I knew I was in line to do the testing next. They'd been prepping me for it. I guess they knew that Jeremy would need to be replaced soon. Jeremy's getting replaced? Is this the same Jeremy from um, the second game? You can always tell when a company is getting ready to fire someone. They start giving out written warnings for silly things. Making sure to build a paper trail and make a case for a firing. Things that normally no one would care about suddenly become grave offenses, all worthy of being written and documented. I guess it works two ways, because it also encourages a person to quit rather than be scrutinized so heavily. I think Jeremy was too far gone to consider that option, though. The thing about it is that I don't think they were going to fire him because of anything he was doing wrong. 
They just knew he'd seen something. They needed to seen discredit him? him. They'd seen him? Because he seems pretty damn, you know, sus. Given this William, I know, you know, he'd, he'd be right about that. He is pretty damn sus. Oh, hi. <laughs> You're a lot closer now. Just standing there all twitchy. I feel like you're squaring up to me. Like, you've been- You're so tall! Wait, I need to increase my height so I can be at height with you. How do I do that again? <gasps> Who's tall now? <laughs> me. I'm tall. You small. I tall. Come at me, William. Okay, so that's all uh, I'm gonna do for today. How do I get back down? <laughs> Might have been stay. There we go. Um, that's all I'm gonna do for today. Uh, so goodbye and thank you again um, for all the subscribers because that is actually so awesome and uh, I cannot thank anyone enough for the support, the comments, the likes, the views, everything, and the subscribers. Obviously, it it actually is really really sweet. And I, yeah, I still can't believe it. Thank you. Um, and. Uh, Adios, goodbye.